Welcome to another coloring from Creative Heaven Books. And today I will be doing my first page from Peacock Designs book by Marty Noble. You know that recently I got several new art supplies and today I decided that it will be a good opportunity to start using my new alcohol-based markers and also my new set of Monarch Black Widow pencils. I selected this beautiful peacock design and I think that for the backgrounds I will be using markers or for bigger areas because I think that for this style of the design I really want to have to have background without a visible pencil strokes, a very smooth, a very plain solid coverage of color and of course with alcohol based markers it's a much easier to get such coloring and with pencils I would need to apply multiple amount of layers then to blend them so it will be much more time consuming. So I hope that first I will be laying down main colors with markers and then details and shading on top of the markers I will add with Monarch pencils. I thought that it would be boring to watch how I color this page. Probably not many of you own this book and would like to repeat to color along with me. So I decided to try new format of the video. It will be some kind of to get knowing myself better. <laughs> what I mean is that Quite often I got questions, um, something about my life experience, my tastes. So I'm very grateful that my viewers, my subscribers really want to know a little bit more about myself. And today I will be talking about foreign languages. You know that from the very beginning of my channel, English was a huge inner problem for me. And it took me a lot of time to start feeling much more confident. I think that only after three years of trying doing videos in English, I started to feel more confident now and now I am even able to color and to talk in the same time and I don't need to add a voice over. I am very grateful to those who supported me on this very long journey. Honestly, I never received any negative comment apart from people from my country about my level of English. But that's not <laughs> what, I'm in, what I intend to talk about today. I wanted to tell you my story. As usual, I started to learn English in school, but it was a very a regular school, nothing special, and our classes were much more concentrated on math and less on English. And teacher which we had for our English classes, she was a huge fan of theater and she tried to create like um, school theater. To, um, she organized amateur performances in the school. So, if you wanted to have good grades in English, you had to do something for the theater to prepare some kind of decoration or help to create costumes. You didn't have to learn English actually. So, we had our time on our lessons to help her to prepare for the theater and not to actually learn English. And of course, in the textbooks which we had for our English. Everything, it was so outdated. I would say that a level of those textbooks, it was more suitable maybe for 19th century and definitely not for the modern English. Even grammar was quite old. And of course, no one was even able to get right pronunciation everything we were able to do to read a little bit and to learn a little bit about grammar. And in such state, knowing absolutely nothing in English, I went to the university and there I started to realize my problem. 
In school, I got excellent grades in English because I was able to help drawing decorations for the theater, <laughs> but of course it wasn't helpful in the university. So uh, when our classes started, it was announced that everyone will have regular classes in English, but there will be also one advanced group and testing will be in months. And during that month, I learned, I read myself a couple of books with grammar, I tried to memorize as much English words as possible. It was complicated, but after just months of very intense learning of English grammar, I was able to pass the test and to go to that advanced level group. Of course, it was a big step for me, but again, Education in that group was a very one-sided. We memorized a lot of words, we concentrated on grammar, so I got not so bad base of England of English grammar. But what we did mostly we read. We never talked. So when I finished university, I was a little bit like a dog. I was able to understand everything. I had a not so bad vocabulary of English words, but I was totally unable to talk. And of course, it wasn't very helpful when I had to use English during work time. And if I needed to make a phone call in English, I was thinking that maybe I'd better quit this work than to feel such a stress. I prepared some papers with some helpful uh, phrases if I had to do a phone call, but as I said, it was very stressful. If I had to draw a letter, it was much more easier. But Speaking was a nightmare for me. And then, at some moment, it was indeed a question of or you speak English or you would better quit. I had to conduct a very important negotiation with American company and were awaiting their delegates in two weeks and I had two weeks to resolve my problem that I was totally unable to communicate in English, even if I was well capable to understand everything, uh, all professional terms. So my problem, my problem, it was totally psychological. I realized that it was time for drastic measures because my work it was interesting and I didn't want to lose my job. So I went to English Business Club. It was something which was organized in the building near my house. It was organized by businessman from UK. He already spent a lot of years in Ukraine and he helped to make business connections between business in Ukraine and business abroad, mostly in UK, but in other countries also. I knew that they also conducted some kind of English classes, but that's not what I needed. I needed something more intense. So I asked him that I would pay him for individual lessons and he simply have to talk to me, to speak with me. I tried to explain him my problem and, you know, he really helped me. I know, I don't know how exactly. He checked my grammar, he checked my vocabulary and he was sure that I am totally prepared. So, indeed, my problem was psychological and he really helped me. He gave me advices like to speak slowly, to memorize in advance some helpful phrases, to greet persons, to discuss main problems. And he discovered that if I had successful start, when I didn't have any problems at the beginning of the conversation, then everything went quite fluently. He helped me to learn some basic topics, you know, like small small talk, topics to fill in pauses, to uh, 
create impression for of a well cultured person. So we memorized some topics about Kiev, about Ukraine, about our business. So really, it was a very helpful. And in two weeks, I really was prepared. I feel much more confident. And from that moment, I indeed started to speak. Of course, I had still had problems. I did a lot of mistakes. And when I pronounce this phrase with mistake, I immediately realized that I made it. So I know rules in my head. But when I speak, when I speak, and when I, in the same time, think about some problems, or when I am agitated, or when I am nervous, of course, I do more mistakes. But it was a nice start. The same thing went with my channel. Very slowly, year after year, I started to gain confidence. And you know, that confidence which I got on this channel, it really very helpful also for my work. So now I'm very happy that it was my story about English language. But I promise that my stories about Italian and French, they are much more fun. I don't speak the, those languages nicely. I have only basic level, but I promise story is indeed fun. So I hope to see you in the second part, where I will proceed to color this beautiful peacock. And then I will talk to you a little bit more about myself. Thanks for listening to my bubbling and thanks for watching this beautiful page. Thank you.